Hello everyone, this is Kadiv. Welcome to my more interesting YouTube channel. Today I am going to teach you Photoshop tools and features. This is the second part of the lecture that I created previously about Photoshop tools and features. Now I am going to teach you history press tool. History brush helps to restore an earlier point in your picture's history when edit or paint on something. Example, I paint using this tool on this face. Okay. Now it can be removed using history brush tool. The most popular use of the history brush tool is to take a color picture, convert it to black and white, then press the original color back into a particular picture. This artistic effect can be striking. Next one is the eraser tool. You might well know about this tool used to erase object or image. Example, this eraser, I'm erasing. Okay. So Mondo, Mondo the next one is the gradient. color tool which is used to apply gradient color background and it can be customized with different gradient using uh, options panel we can select any gradient color we can customize the gradient color and there are uh, five different uh, gradient effect one is a linear square and an angle gradient and reflected gradient, diamond gradient. So we can adjust the mode and opacity from in options panel. So now I am applying this one gradient color for the color I choose. Next steps. Okay. I will do this. And also, we can create feather mask when we do masking the image using gradient tool example i'm making this image as i masked this image then i'm going to apply gradient color in mask so that we can get feathered edge mask but we have to select the convert to now applying so I'm applying from top got it so next one is the paint tool used to fill color in the entire page or selected area so using the paint tool I can fill the foreground color or background color or pattern based on our choice. So, that's it. This layer I filled the foreground color using paint tool.
the next one is the blur tool using blur tool we blur image or any object for example I'm blurring the nose Removing using still brush tool. Another one is the sharpen tool. We can sharpen using sharpen. For example, I'm sharpening the hair. Look, and this dress. I'm sharpening now the jewels. The next one is the smudge tool. Smudge tool use. The smudge tool is helpful when you want to remove dirts and scratches on old photos. This can also be used to make a photo appear as a painting when used across the entire image example i'm using in sorry i'm removing dusters in this face oh no i'm making more smudge Okay. The next one is the touch tool. Touch tool mostly used to remove shade and make light on the image. Example, I remove the shade from right side of cheek. Let's see. We can change the range by shadows or midtones, highlights. I choose shadows. Okay. Next one is the burn tool. It is used to make darken of the pixel. Um, now darkening the hair color. So I am making again shade. I choose shade. Making darken of the hair color. I simply put the touch tool tightens the pixels you paint. Under the burn tool darkens the pixels you paint. It is not entirely different from using levels or curve. The difference is that you are not applying the changes to the entire image. You are applying them only to the places you paint with the brushes. The so next one is the pen tool basically helps to create path and then make selection this is the best users for make selection and cut out the image if you would like to, if you would like to learn more about 
pen tool i have recorded separate video to cut out image using pen tool you can watch handle the next one is the text tool most widely used and it has vertical or mosque text tool using text tool you can select select and type So we can change this color in options panel. Okay, okay. In text tool, there is a text mask tool. Using text mask tool, we could create a mask in image as what we type letters. So, for example, I am typing using using I select horizontal type mask. Type. Then I enter the text has been converted as a selected path then we could make and mask the background color example um, okay, selecting so next one is the fast selection tool used to select path that we created by pen tool rectangle round or custom shapes tool for example I draw a path to select the eye bro so then I I can move this path anywhere using the path tool The next one is the shape tool in shape tools there is various uh, shapes rectangle rounded rectangle ellipse tool polygon tool line tool custom shape tool so which is used to draw rectangle shapes or any shapes based on our choice when we select when we select the custom shape we can choose multiple shapes from library in options panel there is a or you may choose other libraries also here if you want replace you, you can otherwise you can select append tool so that it appended in existing library Photoshop CS5 provides fantastic feature to create 3D object and control. I selected 3D object in left toolbar. Then I choose a menu. I'm going to create a 3D cube. Okay. Using this control, we can change and rotate the 3D object. Look at this. If you want to may apply different skins or in left or side or back of the cube. You can choose here. For example, I am choosing left and I am going to apply an image.
so the flower background applied as a skin in left of the group the next one is the next one is the 3d camera i select the 3d camera tools using the 3d using the 3d camera tools can move the camera view while leaving the position of the 3d object fixed i choose the 3d camera tool we can rotate roll pan and walk zoom the camera so the change view using this 3d object and camera we could create animation using animation features in photoshop 3d and animation features likely used to create icon or, or logo give animation we can change the camera view from options panel view menu which has many options to select views of the camera the camera selecting i'm choosing the left or front next one is the hand tool used to move page and it can be accessed by pressing h or space bar okay when we zoom in we can move using hand tool so that view the all part of the object if we press control with hand then hand key becomes zoom in i'm using control it becomes zoom in when we use hand tool with control plus halt we can zoom out the page so zoom out so next one is the zoom tool so which helps to zoom in and zoom out it's basically default uh, it would be zoom in uh, when we press with alt key it becomes as zoom out tool or it becomes zoom out um, in zoom out zoom in when i press alt it zoom out the next one is in toolbar as the top one is a foreground color and bottom one is the background color i hope you have learned about the photoshop tools and features if you have any queries please write email at help@mindrose.com thanks for watching my channel bye